So it's probably empty. Keys for you. Yeah, That's you could try. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just left a little yeah, walker away. Right yeah, we'll change the well we'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs too. As soon as I told her we're hey we're removed, we're evicting those people, she's like, oh, oh that's fine, you can stay. All right, it's about 10:27 in the morning. And we are on our way to meet the eviction crew uh, for a scheduled eviction. Safety first, of course. They are set to evict these tenants uh, at exactly 10:30. So uh, us here, we're running slightly late, so we'll probably arrive uh, as things get underway. Uh, this one. This one might be, there might be some fireworks with this one. Lost up, unit lost up. Nobody, nobody home? Nobody home. The downstairs oh. tenant is home. She said they haven't been around in weeks. We okay. asked her about common areas like basement and garage. Okay, so listen, these keys worked the storm door and the upstairs door. Okay. Oh, this sure. one didn't works, work anything. Sure. Okay. That's nifty to know. All right, cool. So, a lot of shit in the yeah. Vince, do you want to you want to walk through and yeah, you can take pictures if you want. I'll get my iPad. If not. I mean, I'm filming, but yeah. All right, we're about to pull up on the eviction here momentarily. There it is to my right, right there. There's the guys, looking good. We've got a full house today. Oh wow, it is nice and tight. Housing guy right there next to me on my left. What do we got going on here? Got another housing bailiff right there. Alright. We're gonna swing around so we can probably grab a parking spot on the other side of the street. Yeah, this is tight. Very... I was trying to find a good spot to, to park and give a narration, but there ain't no street. We got a full house or what? Uh, yeah. We're doing all the bailiffs are getting in right now. We're probably pulling that driveway for a second block. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Right Up, right? Yeah, straight across. So they could probably pull in the driveway. And third floor unit. We might, after we get it cleared, we try to hang back until we... Until everything's make cleared off. Sure okay. Yeah, so we'll go to the back, and there's going to be a door far back on the right. You go up some steps, and it'll be everything upstairs, so Second both floor, levels, yeah. Do we know if anyone's still around here? Haven't seen anybody, so it's probably empty. No cars in the drive? No, I, I was telling him, every time I've been here, I've never even seen, like, someone here. So, it's hopefully 50-50 that they just haven't lived here. Keys for you. Yeah, That's you could try. <laughs> This is where we're gonna be. We're just gonna chill in this driveway right here. Hopefully this guy doesn't come out and freak out, but I guess if he does, I mean, that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. We're just, we're just parking this driveway. I got a little bit of cash in my wallet, so if he gets pissed enough, we'll offer him a couple bucks to go away. Gary, you getting the door count? <laughs> that's, I think, specifically for the, the down unit, yeah. Damn, dude, they do have a lot of shit up here. Ah, yeah. We're with the uh, Holden Wise TV and the eviction crew, and we're documenting an eviction. Is it all right if we just stay here for about 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. the next door? It's actually that house right across the street. Uh, we're Holden Wise TV. We're with those guys, the entire crew. We're, we're getting the entire thing documented. And uh, there isn't anywhere else to park, so. The place is full. 
full? Full. Good. I got two hours in this lady's parking lot or in this lady's driveway. Two hours? She said she said she don't have to leave for two hours, and she's happy to have us uh, document the eviction. I guess this tenant right here. I mean, I've, I don't know if you're aware, but. You know, she's causing a fucking ruckus in the whole neighborhood, parties, nonstop. So as soon that's, as I told her, we're, hey, we're removed, we're evicting those people, she's like, oh, oh, that's fine, you can stay. I don't have to wait for two want. hours. Yeah. So Two I, hours, though, that might not even cover all the, the move out. There, this thing's jam-packed full stuff. I think they see us removing that piece of shit, and uh, they're quite happy. Which, why we got a little downtime before we get into the action, I just like you guys to be aware that this is Vince, the man that you guys see in a lot of the Tennis from Hell videos. He pretty much runs the field operations here at Holton Wise. Also has what I would venture to say is the nicest mustache in the entire company. That's, uh, that's what I like to see. You know, here at Holton Wise, we really value quality facial hair. You know, we think that's important. That's that one, is true. It's one of the first things we look for. Yeah, well, we almost fired Derek if he didn't uh, grow out his beard, so. As we fucking should, man. I always forget you guys stage everything before it goes down. So I was like waiting for someone to come around the corner with stuff, and I was like, oh, I don't think they're coming. No, hey, you're good. Takes less time. It's smarter. We're smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. And it costs you all less. Well, that's fair. Up and down, up and down. And it takes all day. Yeah. That's more money, yeah. Stack a little, go down. Patch a little, go down. It's a good strategy. So pack it all, then go down. Can you imagine just coming home from work and half your stuff is just on the front lawn? Have you not been paying attention to the video that you're currently filming? I just got done saying they've known about this for a long time. True. Also, they ain't fucking coming home from work. <laughs> Sorry, can you imagine coming home from your drug dealer's house? <laughs> All right, that, your that is a more accurate uh, depiction of what we're doing. I left you a little pathway, so. Oh, thank you. Don't feel as though you locked in for yeah. hours. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak by and. Okay. Yeah, because I just left a little walkway. You know what, and everything light, I'm gonna let you stay and pass to me. Okay. Richard, you can go on down. And then I'm gonna meet halfway. Stay on it for one second. And now you can. Come on. Lift it just a little so the slide, Rich. There you go. You got it? Yep. Anthony, I threw that gray thing back up because it's empty. You can put some stuff in there. Okay. Took a little bit of time, but now we are into the magic. Uh, we got uh, the movers starting to actually get some of the items moved on to the lawn. And uh, this is what happens when you steal from your landlord. Stuff right here, stuff. Oh, we got huh? We got a lot of stuff right here we got to get first. Yeah, I was just taking one person. Oh. I already talked to John, but the, uh, 
I'm just gonna fill up the whole lawn with this, with everything that's in there. Yeah. Shit. Left everything. Those two dudes right there, bro. You can tell those guys do this all day, man. Those dudes are jacked up. Now, if anybody's uh, curious to know the dynamic of, of what we have going on over there, there's there's three groups uh, of people here making this eviction happen, right? There's three groups of people delivering you guys the magic, right? What we have is you got all of the actual Holton Wise employees, right? So myself, the two guys in my car right now filming me, Steve and Tom, and then we got that guy right there with the camera, that's Matt, and then you guys saw Vince, we were talking to Vince earlier, and then we had Gary here, okay? Those are all Holton Wise employees. Uh, Vince and Gary are gonna be changing the locks uh, when we're done here, and they were able to provide access uh, for the bailiffs and the moving crew. That is the other two groups of people, right? So like the guy handling the couches and all that stuff, all those guys that are not wearing the Holton Wise uh, branded attire, like that guy right there, you know, carrying the big ass mattress, right? These uh, dudes that are, you know, pretty muscled up from moving all day, those are a separate company that works for Holton Wise that handles move outs. The way move outs work is the actual landlord itself, right? So Holton Wise, uh, believe it or not, by Cleveland law, we are actually not physically allowed to touch any of the tenant's belongings. Uh, so like if I, for some reason, wanted to hop out of this truck right now and go carry a couch out of the, the house and put it on the front lawn, I don't, <laughs> but like if I wanted to, uh, I actually would not legally be allowed to. Just like any of my other guys you see over there with the branded attire, they're not actually allowed to do that either. You have to hire a third party uh, arm's length company uh, that has previously been approved by the city of Cleveland. Uh, you know, the city of Cleveland, the housing court, they give you like a whole list uh, of these companies and you choose choose uh, which one of those you'd like to work with. In Holton Wise, we've actually been working with the same company for about 10 years now. They've always done very good work for us. They're diligent, uh, they're quick, they're on time. Now, don't get me wrong, a full eviction like this one, like the one we're watching right now where it is a full house. I say quick, but like this is not a quick process. This is probably a half day's work, if not a full day's work uh, for such a large group of people. And then the last group uh, of people that are here making it happen, of course, is going to be the housing court bailiffs. So this is up, this is upstairs? Yeah. Right yeah, we'll change the well. We'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt, and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs too. Mm -hmm. Rich, you gotta take that all the way down. It's too heavy. Yeah. All right. You know what? You can take it all the way to the front and take it a minute, a couple minutes to break it down. It was like one woman that we actually screened and placed into the unit, had fairly decent credit, income, stuff like that. So we wouldn't have known this, but she ended up moving in like multiple other people, right? It's one of those scenarios probably where you get the girl who's got a clean background, clean credit, stuff like that. And then uh, she moves in the dirtbag boyfriend. And I guess like they're just creating a ruckus around here. They've been just fucking terrorizing the rest of the people in the neighborhood. We never want to put in uh, bad people, right? You know, the goal is always to put in good people, right? When tenants, uh, you know, cause us problems, they're typically causing the rest of the neighborhood problems. And, you know, that's not 
that's not what we're out to do, right? It's bad for the neighborhood. It's bad for us. It's bad for our bottom line. It's bad for our investors' bottom line. So, uh, you know, bad tenants got to go, man. I mean, that's it. That's the moral of the story. Bad tenants got to be removed. Uh, you know, we get a lot of flack from the I Love Eviction line of clothing, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in I Love Eviction t-shirts, coffee mugs, baby onesies, hoodies, mouse pads, throw pillows, there's nothing better than a nice I Love Eviction throw pillow on your love seat. Uh, you guys can go ahead and use the promo code HWTV10 and click the notes below this video to get yourself 10% off on some of that I Love Evictions merchandise. But we get the Wokies, you know, the woke left, and they're like, oh my God, how can you sell I Love Eviction merchandise? You must be the worst people in the world. I don't, how? What are you talking about? First of all, evictions only occur uh, when a tenant is being a complete piece of crap scumbag, which is like what's happening here. And as I just got done describing, not only does it uh, benefit us, right? We get the person who's stealing from us out of the house. You get the neighbors who are now happier because we can actually bring in a quality individual and not some piece of shit uh, whose only way to maintain housing is to steal it from another person and they're just causing a ruckus uh, in the neighborhood. No care about the quality of life of the neighbors or anything of that nature. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do love evictions as a matter of fact, right? Because, uh, you know, if you don't pay, you can't stay. And, uh, you know, you do the crime, you got to do the time. That's pretty much everything uh, that you guys need to know, that you guys need to see. That's about a wrap on this one, man. This is uh, this is what it looks like when you don't pay your rent, man. Like I said, it's unfortunate, but uh, you know, this is the business that we do. This is what we do, folks. That's a full set of belongings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.